Hello viewers, welcome to Limu TV. A session whereby we are going to interact and also learn together. We are going to have our mathematics uh, form 1, lesson 10, whereby your tutor will be me, Mr. Gerald, and we are going to handle the topic on integers. Uh, but before that, uh, we are going to have the following lesson objectives, whereby by the end of the lesson, you should be in a position you divide and also uh, multiply integers and uh, you carry out an uh, ordered or uh, um, a certain pair of ordered operations uh, let us start with the positive integers whatever we are saying uh, positive integers are also called natural numbers and remember on our uh, previous lessons we have said that natural numbers are accounting numbers that is from 1 to 9 that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 uh, we can now uh, on how to determine positive integers. It can be determined by uh, a positive, when more a positive sign, by a positive sign, we are going to get a positive sign. A negative sign multiplied by a negative sign will equal to a positive sign. A negative sign divided by a negative sign, uh, we are going to get a positive sign. So these are the three ways on how you can determine positive integers. By multiplying a positive a sign by a positive sign to get a positive sign. A negative by negative to get a positive sign and also negative divided by a negative to get a positive sign uh, actually uh, when you get um, a, a positive sign you add to a positive sign you also get a positive sign a negative and a negative one you get a negative one um, let us look at an example uh, when you are being told you multiply negative 5 multiplied by negative 6 here you are going to get 30 so that is because we have said a negative times a negative we are getting a positive that's why our answer is positive 30 let us look at another like negative 60 times negative 4 you are getting 240 that is for mean a negative times a negative you are getting a positive that's why you're getting 60 times 4 to get 240 uh, for example we can have a positive multiplied by a positive so whereby in our case we are getting a positive 25 times a positive 5 to get a positive 125 we can also have negative by negative by negative by negative. Remember, in our case, we are having negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4. That is, you are getting negative 4 power 4. As long as the power is, um, is even, the result must uh, be positive. I've said that if you get a negative raised by a positive, uh, that is, an uh, even power, the result is uh, positive that is why we are saying negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4 we are getting 64 remember what I mean by saying an even power here it is the same as negative 4 power 4 so a uh, 4 is um, 4 is um, even integer uh, we can look at negative integers sorry whereby a negative multiplied by a, a positive integer we are going to get a negative and a negative divided by a negative we are getting a negative sorry we have said negative divided by positive we get a negative and a positive divided by negative we get negative so that is how we determine negative integer those are the three, three rules which are going to um, guide us on how to get negative integers we can look at examples whereby you are required to multiply negative 9 by 3 for us to get negative 27 the reason why we are getting negative 27 is because negative by a positive we get a negative we can have a 4 times negative 3 the result is negative 12 so here uh, when you're multiplying a positive by a negative we are getting a negative you can also have division whereby you can uh, be required to divide 24 you divide by negative 6 the answer should be negative 4 so that is to mean a positive divided by a negative you get a a negative integer you can have negative 50 you divide by 25 to get negative 2 because a negative divided by a, a positive you're going to get a negative integer and we can have what we call operation of integers whereby um, you are required to operate 1 18 minus 24 into brackets then you add 30 uh, when using brackets you first actually you use uh, what we call body mass whereby body mass means a b is for brackets O is for of, D is for division, M for multiplication, F for addition, and S for subtraction. So we normally keenly follow uh, the board mass. So we first draw whatever is in the brackets. 
and 18 minus 4 is what is in the bracket. When we get 18 minus 24, we are going to get negative 6, then we add it to 30. Negative 6 plus 30, you are going to get positive 24. You can also have negative 16, you multiply by 9, then you add 56 divided by 7. We are going to also use body mass. Whereby our first um, thing we are going to do is to divide. So you are going to get 56, we divide by 7 to get 8. Then you multiply uh, 16 by 9 to get 144. Then uh, uh, then we add negative 144 plus 8 to get negative 136. Having done and said that, we can have the following activity whereby you are required to solve negative 1156 divided by 34 times 7. Uh, to get more of this uh, lesson, you can refer to KLB, Secondary Mathematics Students Book 1, which is the fourth edition Nairobi, which has been satisfied, uh, certified by the Kenya Research Bureau and also to get this lesson and many more of our mathematics from one lesson you can uh, send us an SMS with the number that is on our screen or you subscribe to our YouTube channel or our Facebook page which are bo uh, both Elimu TV or you tweet us at Elimu TV underscore KE let us subscribe to all these channels and we shall enjoy more of our from one uh, mathematics lessons thank you